Emma, guess what? I can't imagine. They're having a worship party this weekend at my church for Easter, and there was kind of a sign up for volunteers, and I kind of put our names on it. You put whose names on it? Ours, mine, yours. Us, the people right here, they're looking for two lead volunteers to be glow stick leaders and to perform a glow stick dance together. Bam, one, two, you and me, glow stick leaders. Check out this move I've been working on. Huh? I think it's cooler with the lights off and, and with some music. Welcome to Press Play. Without the lights on, I'm Jay. And I'm Emma. Jay, are you sure they don't just want us to pass out glow sticks? And are you sure you didn't just add the glow stick dance part? Maybe. But why stop at passing out glow sticks when we could take it to the next level? Not only pass out the glow sticks, but teach people the art that is glow stick dance. Okay. <laughs> pass me some sticks. Let's get started. Okay. Ugh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> you know what we need now is a little more inspiration to put our performance together. Ooh, how about you hit the lights and uh, cause I can't even see the press play button. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, anytime. Uh, a little prompt. The light switch isn't working and I think the power is out. What? If the power is out, then the press play button won't work. Well, we could try. Three, two, one, press play. Uh. Oh, oh no! no! Whoa, whoa, where are we? We're still here, Jay. Oh. I'm calling an electrician. Mm, this one looks good. Safety Sam the electrician. I'll give them a call. Mm. Safety Sam, no. at your service. Whoa, I, I didn't even call yet. Now yeah. that's service. Hey, thank you, I pride myself on service. And safety. I used to have a partner named Lightning Rod. Ooh, dangerous name for an electrician. Every job we went on, he got zapped. He never wore gloves, never took precautions of any kind. People started to call us for the wrong reason. We were supposed to turn on the lights, but people just wanted to see how many times old Lightning Rod would get zapped. <sighs> One day, I had enough. I took Lightning Rod's charred boiled tools away for good. Now, Safety Sam, the electrician, is all about the right thing. When the lights go out, don't pout. <laughs> Bringing back lights is what I'm all about. And that rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> cool story, Sam. Yeah. It actually reminds me of a Bible story when some wires got crossed that Jesus had to fix. <laughs> Comes from John chapter 2. Jesus and his friends went to Jerusalem. That's where the temple was. The temple was supposed to be a special place where people could come and pray and spend time with God. But when they got there, they found something else. The temple had been turned into a marketplace where people were doing everything but praying and being with God. Jesus went haywire. He drove everyone out and said, in John 2, 16, to the people selling things and cheating people out of money, he said, get these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. Jesus got mad? Oh yeah, just like I got mad about old lightning rod turning my business into a joke. <laughs> they had done the same thing to the temple, which Jesus called God's house. That's God's house. I I'd be upset too, I guess. But Jesus didn't just get upset. He did something about it. The temple was supposed to be a place where people found God's light. And instead, it had become a place full of the world's darkness. But Jesus drove the darkness out and brought the light back. Uh, just like I'm trying to do for you guys. <laughs> Jesus wanted his friends to know that they could do the same thing. In dark places or situations, we can shine God's light. And speaking of God's light. Oh, <laughs> oh. There we go. Awesome. Emma, that story made me think. Maybe the best thing we can do as glow stick leaders isn't an awesome choreographed dance, it's to remind people at the party to shine their lights 
for Jesus, just to worship God. <laughs> I think you're right. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, it's the big idea alarm. It usually means we have to go, but we're here. I guess we should try the secret press play handshake. You all know it. Join in. Mm. <laughs> Boom. Where'd they go? I couldn't find those two. I searched high and low, so I guess I'll do the recap. <laughs> I turned the lights back on for these two glow stick dance leaders, if that's what they are. As I did, I talked to them about John chapter 2 and how Jesus brought God's light back to the temple. Jesus wanted his friends and us to see how he didn't just get upset. They took action. When you see something that isn't right, turn on the light. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Maybe I should make that my tagline. When things aren't right, I turn on the light. When things aren't right, I turn on the light. Let's drop the verse. Oh, what time is it? <laughs> time to drop the verse, Jay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Psalm 27.1. Psalm 27.1 The Lord is my light and my salvation Who shall I fear? Psalm 27.1 Hey! Psalm 27.1 Hey! The Lord is my light and my salvation Who shall I fear? Psalm 27.1 Hey! Psalm 27.1 Hey!